Scratch. Now, I'm aware I've been milking Scratch for years, but making games with Scratch is so much easier, more efficient, and I'm also super lazy. So, instead of making a commercial game in Unity, I'm gonna make a commercial game in Scratch. I'm sure there's no legal issues with this. So I want to make a game with a replay loop. For the design, I want to be bright on a black background. Sort of like shapes and beats. So after some trial and error and two hours, we have a player. Now for the enemies. The enemies, I'm going to use... Huh? Who are you? Ich habe Grippe. Du wirst krank sein. Wrong language. Oh, thank you. I was saying that I am the flu and you will be sick <gasps> now. Monocle laughter ha 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 ha. So Ravo is sick so I will speak for him. He has added sound, but he is only using Scratch so he had to make the sounds with objects using the recording feature. Two weeks later. Anyway, I'm no longer sick. Now where were we? Ah, that's right, enemies. For the enemies, we need to make them follow the player. So after programming that, it's time to design the spawning system. For this, I'll use a system called Pennies. Perfectly easy, not at all irritating stupidity. The way Pennies works is it takes the wave number as currency and spends it on units. Every unit has a different cost. But how does the rest of the code work? Well, I'm Shut up, nerd! Okay, let's be honest. You don't care how I got to this point. Let me just show you the final product. Here it is. HP upgrade. So lightning round starts off, you have a few waves, and then you can select to this arrow, which gives you your two options for upgrade. Uh, I personally gonna take shot speed here because I want to shoot a little faster. Certain enemies, like that circle there, uh, once you kill them, they turn into the square, which then turn into a triangle. We're on level 10 now. Uh, we'll take piercing again. Okay, we didn't get the boss this round. The boss appears after round 10. Bullet size, why not? There we go, there's the boss. The green hexagon, which spawns enemies. Uh, not very good, but uh, once you mix it in with a few other enemies, yeah, it gets really annoying. Uh, both the arrows and the WS keys both work. Uh, WSD are orbital, while arrow keys are just your set left and right. Okay, all that's left to do is to convert it into HTML, then to an EXE. Now, I was going to upload this to Steam, but if you look at the price, it's a hundred freaking dollars. I do not have that type of money. I'm broke. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, it's on itch down below. You can go download it. Is it any good? to find good. Anyway, have a good day, don't die, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.